Hello softball fans, we're back with another game for you. This one is a game from the Great Smoky Mountain Senior Classic that was played this past weekend, uh, put on by ISSA. The game's between Team One Sports slash Kelleher Law Firm in Wiley's 50s, Max Bats. Both teams are from Florida. This is, would have been the first game of the bracket play, uh, played late Friday afternoon. And uh, we'll go ahead and get this thing started, get rolling here. Looks like we're waiting on a manager from Team One Sports, Kelleher. like Wiley's won the toss and uh, I presume they're going to take home team. Again, this is a major game. Wiley's is a major team. Team One Sports, Kelleher is a major plus team, uh, which means Team One Sports, Kelleher is going to have to give equalizer runs, one run per inning in the first through the fifth inning. Uh, they're going to play six home runs and five runs per half inning, and then we change up the sides. So all we're now waiting on now is for the umpire to say play ball and we'll get going.
looks like Wiley's Max Bats is going to go with a three-man outfield, five infielders. Leading off is number 19, Andy Packard. Gets a quick single. Next up is going to be number 16, Bob O'Brien. And Bob goes back side to right side. Looks like a foul ball, so he's going to get another hack. Bob goes back through the middle with another base hit. Andy's going to round second and go into third. That'll bring Doug Cullen to the plate, number nine. He goes back past the second baseman. Out into center field. Runner's going to hold up at second. That'll score a run. That's going to bring up number 18, Alan Tanner. Allen goes to the right center field gap. Takes it out of the park. Clears the bases, brings up number 11, John Livingstone. Hits one at the second baseman, and he knocks it down. Throw to first, pulls up the first baseman a little bit, but he makes a play. And that looks, looks like we got Arnie Torres walking up here to the batter's box, number 10. Arnie goes to right field line. Rounds first. Digging for second. Stand up double. Adam move us to Chris Perone. Number 12.
One ball, one strike. Oop, right at the pitcher. Pitcher knocks it down. Makes a play at first. That'll move us to Donnie Burke, number six. Donnie hits one out in the right field. Right fielder coming hard. Comes up making a throw to the plate. And they get the runner trying to get home. So Team 1 Sports Kelleher get four in the top of the first. Oh, I guess I got to update that. So Max Batch, we're going to go ahead and give them their equalizer run. Two teams should be kind of familiar familiar with them each other. Uh, a lot of the players on Team One Sports Kelleher play in Florida Half Century with uh, Bassett Audio and other teams. And I'm assuming Wiley's 50s also plays Florida Half Century, or at least the players should be playing with teams in Florida Half Century. So I'm sure they've seen one another around the diamond playing Half Century. Looks like we have number three leading off. And he's going to draw a base on ball and draw a walk. Looks like the next batter getting settled in the box is number 05. And he hits one out into left center field. Runner's going to advance to third. Next hitter is going to be number 23. He has one to the hand side of second baseman out in right center field. Right fielder chasing it to the fence. One run will score. Put runners on second and third. And that brings to bat number 20. And he's going to pull one foul out of play. He hits one back at O'Brien, makes the play.
See Donnie Burke giving directions back there. That brings up. Yeah, I didn't catch his number. It's either 27 or 77. He goes back up the middle, 77. And that will score one. Let's bring up zero, zero. So you got runners on first and third, one out. And it looks like he hit that one pretty good. He's heading to the dugout. That's going to be a home run. And that'll give Wiley's there five runs. So we're going to head into the top of the second. Wiley's with a two-run lead. Batter's going to be number eight, Kenny Smith. Gonna hit a one hopper to the pitcher, throws to first. Got one down. Brings the bat number 21. And that is Jeff Montepettit. He hits one to the third baseman. Third baseman knocks it down, throws it in the dirt to the first baseman who can't field it. And Jeff's going to go into second standing up. And that's going to bring us to number 23, Norm Williams. Looks like we're going to get a pinch runner at second base. Norman hits a two-hopper to the second baseman, throws over to first. Runner doesn't advance. And that'll take us to the top of the order, number 19, Andy Packard. And he hits one to the right side. Right fielder's giving chase. That'll score a run. Andy's going to go into second. Rounding second, going to third. That's going to bring up number 16, Bob O'Brien.
Bob hits one down the left field line. He's digging hard. And he's going to stroll into second base with a double. That'll tie the game up for the time being. That's going to bring up number nine, Doug Cullen. Doug singled in his last at bat. He goes to the right side off the first baseman's glove. And that scores Bob O'Brien. Bringing up Alan Tanner, number 18. Alan Homered, his last at bat. And Alan hit that one pretty good. It got off the fence. So Alan will go into second with a stand-up double. And I think that scored the run. Maybe not, because I didn't see him pass in front of the camera. So I'm going to say second, third. Two outs. John Livingstone, the batter. Middle infielder makes a play. So we're going to go to the bottom of two. Team one Kelleher with a slight lead. Looks like number nine is going to start things off for Wiley's. And he's going to fly out to center field. Should hold one down or should come up to slide. Brings up number five.
And he's going to bounce one off the shortstop for a single. Batter was number one. He hits it the right side for a single. Runner's going to go first to third. Catch the batter's number. Hopefully, you'll turn around here in a second. It looks like something nine. Eighty-six. That's going to score one. Move the runner on first to third. And take us to number seven. He hits a ground ball to shortstop, shortstop to middle infielder, and middle infielder first. And it looks like it's in time. So, with the equalizer run, Wiley's Max Bats is going to take a one-run lead going into the top of the third, 8-7. to seven. Leading off for Team 1, Kelleher is going to be number 10, Arnie Torres. Arnie hit a double his first time at bat. He's going to pull one, hits it out of play. And he hits one out to center fielder. Center fielder looks like he's under it. First out, brings the back. Chris Perrone, number 12. Chris hit one back at the pitcher first time up. And he hits that one off the third baseman's glove. He's going to round first, going to second, running hard, and he's safe. That'll move us to number six, Donnie Burke.
Donnie hits it out to right field. Right fielder going over. Must have got by him. Donnie's going into second. Runs going to score. Next hitter is going to be number eight, Kenny Smith. Kenny gets it in the air. Center fielder going over. He makes a catch. Runner's going to advance to third. And that'll bring us to number 21. Jeff Montepettit. He hits one to right field. Scoring a run. And now hitting is going to be Norm Williams. Norman Williams, number 23. And he finds a hole this time up. I had to make runners on first and second. Two outs for the leadoff hitter, number 19, Andy Packard. Looks like he's got it popped up in the infield. Middle infielder makes the catch. So that'll do it for the top half of the third. Team 1 Kelleher scores two runs. Taking a one run lead. Into the bottom of the third. And unless Wiley's, Wiley's Max Bats is hitting 12 hitters, we're going to go to the top of the order. Number three should be leading us off. Nope. We're going to have number 24 hitting. Well, maybe he was just going to go up there and check out the plate. Nope, I guess he's decided he's going to hit. O'Brien jumps out front with a first pitch strike. And he pulls it foul. So now he's got to keep it in play here.
And he tries to take a little swing there, hit it into left field. For a base hit, shortstop runs out, picks it up, gets the ball in. Takes us to the top of the order now, number three hitting. He led off the game with a walk. And he tries to go right side. And it's foul ball. Coming back to the plate. And Bob gets him in the air, center fielder going back. And it's a home run. Brings up number zero five. He reached on a, with a single the first at bat. And he's going to reach with a single on the second at bat. That brings us to number 23. He doubled his first at bat, so. And he's going to hit one well to left center field. Caught by the center fielder. First out. That brings up number 20. Bob tries to get him with the fastball there. And he's going to go shopping at the gap in right center field. Right fielder comes up, makes a throw into the cutoff man. Brings up number 77. I can't tell if the runner scored or whether he's still on third. So we're going to leave it at second and third for the, for the moment. And he hits it to second baseman, bobbles it, throws to first. So now we got two outs for the hitter, number zero, zero. Runners on second and third. And he hits one over the shortstop. That's going to score two. And that'll bring number nine to the plate. And he goes back up the middle. Runner's going to advance to third. Batter's going to stay at first.
So we're going to have runners on first and third. Brings up number five. He singled in his first at bat. And he tries to lay one off to left field. Looks like the left fielder is under it. Yeah, it should be three. It looks like there's a little confusion on whether it was three or not. So they're coming off the field finally. So we're going to give Wiley's Max Bats their equalizer run. That's going to make the score Team 1 Sports Kelleher 9, Wiley's Max Bats 13. Move into the top of the fourth. Leading off for Team 1 Sports Kelleher Law Firm is going to be Bob O'Brien, number 16. Bob laces one back up the middle. Center fielder giving chase to it. Is Bob going to go for two? Yeah, he's going to come into second standing up. Takes us to Doug Cullen, number nine. Doug has got a pair of singles in his previous at bats. And he's going to get a base hit back through the middle. Runners coming hard from second. And that'll score a run. That's going to move Alan Tanner into the batter's box. Nobody out. Runner on first. And Allen hits one. Looks like it's out to right center field. Gets off the fence. Allen's going to go into second with another double. That'll give us second and third. Bringing John Livingstone to the plate. John is looking for his first hit this game. And he's going to hit one back at the pitcher. Pitcher's going to make the play. That gives us our first out. Number 10, Arnie Torres at the plate. Arnie doubled his first at bat and then flew out in the second one. And Arnie's first pitch swinging. Shortstop's going back. It looks like he made a play. Runner stays at third. Two down. We've got Chris Perone at plate. Runners on second and third. Chris doubled in his at last at bat. They're going to give him an intentional walk. And 
And that will load the bases for number six, Donnie Burke. Donnie hits it at the second baseman. Sec oh, second baseman makes a play, throws the, the shortstop, but he drops the ball. Try to make the play at third, but runner gets back in time. So we still got bases loaded. Brings to the plate number eight, Kenny Smith. Kenny hits the first pitch. Looks like he hit it well. And that'll be a home run. So even though Kenny hit a home run, only two runs will score on that. And that'll put Team One Sports Kelleher back in the lead by a run going into the bottom of the fourth where we have number one looks like the pitcher because of the shin guards leading off for Wiley's 50s Max Bats. And chances are he's going to take this pitch. Bob's a little deep. He's going to draw a walk. Brings 86 to the plate. And he chops one foul. He singled in his last at bat. And he chops at it. Left fielder coming in. Makes a catch. Throw to second. Now hitting number seven. Grounded out his first appearance. Hey, he's got this one up in the air though. Center fielder going over. He makes a grab. So we quickly got two outs. Now hitting is number 24. Runner on first. And he tries to place the ball. He does place the ball. Goes off the middle infielder's glove. 
Shortstop goes out and gets it, gets the throw in. We got first and third. Going to the top of the order, number three. He homered his last at plate appearance. And Bob gets him in the air. And left fielder makes a catch. So, Wiley's 50s, Max Bats, is going to put a goose egg up in the bottom of the fourth. But they do get the one equalizer run. So that'll put us at a tie game, 14-14. Leading off for Team 1, Kelleher, it's going to be number 21, Jeff Montpettit. I hope I'm saying that right. I hate to brutalize his name. but And he's going to get one past the second baseman for a base hit. Taking us to the bottom of the order, number 23, Norman Williams. Norman singled his last at bat, grounded out first at bat. And he's going to get this down the line of right field. He should be able to get two out of this pretty easily. No, he's going to get one. Right fielder must have made a good play out there. So that'll take us to the top of the order. Andy Par Packard, number 19. He finds the 5-6 hole. Bringing up Bob O'Brien. Bob has got a single and a pair of doubles so far this game. fix the mat real quick. Bob goes to right center side, right fielder going back. That ball's out of here. That has four runs in so far for Team 1 Sports. Doug Cullen at bat. He gets one by the middle infielder. That'll bring up number 18, Alan Tanner. Alan's got a home run and a pair of doubles. I'm sure he's thinking try and move the runner without hitting a home run because that would waste a run. And he goes to right side doing just that. Runner's going to go around second to third. 
He's running hard. And he's going to stay at third for stones. And he's going to draw an intentional walk, trying to keep the force play intact. So now it's on Arnie Torres' shoulders. Team one trying to get this last run in. Arnie hits it up in the air. Looks like it's out to left field or left center. They go over, they make a play, or he drops the ball. Everybody's going to move up one. And that'll score the fifth run. So I'm not doing a very good job of keeping the store score up to date. <laughs> so looking at a lot of different things here, but I think we got it now for now. So team one sports scores five in the top half of the inning, puts them ahead by five. So far I have them down for using three home runs. So they have three left. Coming up for Wiley's Bats, Max Bats is going to be number 05. He's got a pair of singles in his previous two at-bats. And just inside. And he's going to draw a base on balls. Got to move us to number 23. He reached on a double in his first at bat and then flew out to center field last at bat. And Bob's going to try and move him off the plate. And he hits one to left. I guess he hit it pretty good. It's a home run. Takes us to number 20. He goes the right side. Right fielder coming in. Plays it on a hop. That'll be a single. Number 77 coming to the plate. goes to the three four hole runner advances to third we're gonna have first and third and number zero zero is gonna step in the box He's been on base both times today. Hit his first home run first at bat, single second at bat. And 
Bob's got him up in the air. And looks like he's going to get that one out of here. So with the five runs they score and the one equalizer run, Wiley's 50s, Max Bats is going to take a one run lead going into the top of the sixth inning. Leading off for Team 1 Kelleher is going to be number 12, Chris Perrone. And he chops one down the third base line. And he's going to jog into second with a double. That'll bring up number six, Donnie Burke. Front edge of the plate for a strike. Donnie had thoughts of laying that one out in left field. And Donnie hits it over to shortstop. Looks like it's going to get in the gap in left center field. No, left fielder's going to come over and make a play and get the ball in. Hold Donnie to a single. Run scores. Let him move us to number eight, Kenny Smith. Kenny hit a home run in his last at bat. And he's going to get one past the pitcher, up the middle. Center fielder comes over, fields the ball, going to third with the ball. And I don't think they got him. At least there was no indication that they got him. So we got runners on first and third. Brings it bat number 21, Jeff Montpetit. Petit. And Jeff's going to hit one in the left center field gap. That'll score one. Looks like the runner's going to hold it third. Bringing to bat number 23, Norman Williams. Norman's got a pair of singles and a ground out. And it looks like we're going to have a pitching change.
Norm is going to find a 5-6 hole for a single. That'll score one. Put runners on first and third for the top of the order. Andy Packard. Andy singled his last at bat as a fly out and two other hits. And he goes down the right field line. He's digging hard. He's going to go for two. It gives a second, third. They give Bob O'Brien the intentional walk. And that will load the bases for number nine, Doug Cullen. Team One Sports only needs one run, though. And he's going to let hit a line drive out to right field. Gets by the right fielder. One run will score. So we're going to move to the bottom of the sixth inning. Team one, Kelleher, enjoying a four-run lead. No more equalizer runs. Leading off for Wiley's is number nine. He's going to hit one foul. And he gets one to the first baseman. So that'll be first baseman unassisted. First out. Now hitting is number five. He tries to go backside. Got it out of play, get a new ball in the game. Hits one in the middle infielder. Throw to first. Two down. That will bring up number one, the, the pitcher. Well, he was the pitcher. 
guess he's the extra hitter now. One of the extra hitters. That one must have just got the front edge. Looked like there was a lot of dirt there, but... Not arguing too much. And he's going to get a base hit. We got two down, runner on first for number 86 coming to the plate. And he looked like he tried to tomahawk that one, got it out of play. Another ball coming into game. And he hits a two hopper, three hopper to the shortstop. Shortstop makes a play to the middle infielder. We get an out. So that'll put another goose egg up for Wiley's 50s Max Bats. And we're going to head to the top of the seventh with Team One Sports up by four runs. So this should be the open inning. Be interesting to see if either team could put up a, uh, a big inning here and Team One Sports either getting away from Wiley's a little bit or Wiley's coming back and leaving Team One in the field. Leading off for Team One Sports Kelleher Law Firm is going to be number 18, Alan Tanner. Alan has reached, it's gotten on base every time it's played this game. And they may have gotten him here. He's popped it up. And the fielder makes a play. One down. Batter's going to be number 11, John Livingstone. Stones has had a rough day at the plate so far. And he's got it popped up. Over to the right side, second baseman makes the play. So we got two down. That's going to bring up number 10, Arnie Torres. Arnie's got a couple flyouts sandwiched by a couple hits. And Arnie's got, looks like Arnie's going to get one. Nope, it's going to be foul ball. He's coming back to the plate. And Arnie's going to hit one back to the pitcher. So, team one 
Sports Kelleher Law Firm is going to go one, two, three in the top of the seventh. Hanging on to that four run lead. If I'm Wiley's 50s max bats, I'm thinking I'm in pretty good shape here. I'm only down four. I've got two home runs left. A couple of dinks and a dong. And they could leave Team One Sports sitting in the field. Starting things off for Wiley's is going to be number seven. Well, looks like we might have a pinch hitter. He's going to hit a ground ball to the shortstop, throw to first. So the pinch hitter was number zero nine. And that will bring up number 24, I believe, unless we get another pinch hitter. And he hits one down, middle infielder fields it, throw the first. There we go. So we got two down. Brings us to the top of the order, number three. And he's going to hit one down the left field line. He's digging hard. He'll go into second with a stand-up double. Brings up number zero, five. Two down, runner on second. Wiley's is down to their last at out. He goes back side. Second baseman fields it, throws it to second. So he's going to get a hit. That gives us runners on first and third. I guess he figured he couldn't get up and, and turn and make the throw to first, so he'd get it to the, the middle infielder who maybe could have made the play at first, but or maybe he just thought that there was a force out at second. Anyway, number 23 is at bat. Back edge of the plate. Strike. And he hits one out to left. Gets off the fence. That'll score a run. He'll go into second sliding. So we're down to a three run lead. It's going to bring up number 20. Got two hits in his last couple at bats. Lined out to the pitcher in the first at bat. And he's going to go to right field. And it looks like the right fielder is under it. And that'll be it. That'll be the ball game.
So your final is going to be Team 1 Sports, Kelleher Law Firm, 24. Wiley's 50s, Max Bats, 21. Team 1 Sports, Kelleher Law Firm will move on in the winner's bracket. Wiley's 50s, Max Bats will drop to the loser's bracket. And that's all we have for now. So we will get out of here. Let these let the two teams congratulate each other. Have a little prayer on the mound, hopefully, for safe travels and everybody stay safe for the rest of the uh, tournament here. So if you like the video, hit the like button down below always helps us out if you've got a YouTube uh, uh, account subscribe to the channel we'll be putting videos up as we get them uh, hopefully we'll, we'll put something up you like thanks for watching and you guys have a great night